with Stewart Information Services Corporation. I'm going to make a very zen prediction that they deal in information services. Let us see if I'm correct. They, through their subsidiaries, provide title insurance and real estate transaction services. It looks like my, my, my zen, my chi, is not centered. And thus I was not able to see that plot twist coming that they in fact are not in the information service business, but rather they deal in insurance. They deal in title insurance and related services, ancillary services, and corporate I am not I am not Zen enough to be able to read that word from my couch. I must go closer. The title insurance and related services segment is involved in searching, examining, closing, and ensuring the condition of the title to real to real property. So I do not believe I believe that I am centered enough to get the gist of what they do. Why don't we go and do a very a very chi analysis? of their financials. Not good, but not terrible. The margin between revenues and earnings is quite large. Some would say alarmingly large. But it seems to be closing at a reasonably good clip. As you can see with the comparison between 2019 and 2020. Let's see if the quarterly reports reflect that. And yes, they do. In fact, these revenues through the quarter are very impressive. Very steady rise. Although, looking at the earnings, somewhat unimpressive. Especially when looking at comparable uh, earnings of, of third quarter. And fourth quarter, even though revenues keep going up, earnings remained somewhat stagnant. I mean, they still beat. They did still beat. But, you know, just a little thing to keep in mind when making, when, when making a choice, a decision. Let us analyze the charts. Let us feel B1 be one with the chart. Be one with the five-day chart, which unfortunately does not look good. Be one with the one-month chart, which I will admit does look better, although... So, so, so we saw the five-day chart and it going down. I feel comfortable enough in my zen to say that that is due to the general market downtrend we saw this past week. However, that coming off a somewhat large run of the past roughly two weeks is concerning. It did seem like it fell more than some others, and because it fell from those highs, it makes me think that those highs could have been a quite a big bubble of sorts. So this one month chart is not terribly impressive either. What about the six month? Be one with the chart. Be one with the six month chart. Be one with the one year chart, if I can click it. Unfortunately, my hands are being stupid. My hands are not centered enough to click on the one year button but now we are here again not 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 terribly impressed they do pay a dividend though which is very nice i see no negative news it is all good energy it is all good energy 
from Stuart something or something or other. I do not remember the name because I have a very, very short memory span. All I can say is that it is all good energy from STC. I know. I know, Jesse. Fantastic energy flow. I can feel it. I can feel it flowing through me up from the ground. The positive energy of STC. No negative news. Uh, fairly good earnings. The chart does worry me. The chart does throw a bit of a wrench inside my chi flow. But I will not let I will I will not let myself falter. I will find my center, and I will say that STC is a very zen. Bye.